Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Valkham Squad. It is the third round of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of the Netherlands. It's also the opening round of the European Championship, EMX 125. Last year's winner, Thibaut Benestan, has moved up to EMX 250, but the rider who finished second last year on the Maddie race in Husqvarna, Mattia Guadagnini, he remains, and he wants to improve on the three wins that he picked up last year. He was in the title fight going into the final round, but uh, both he and Benestan last year had a, a tough time, but it was Benestan who eventually came home a clear winner. But what can he do this weekend? Well, it's not a foregone conclusion that uh, he's going to stand on the top step of the podium, although he was fastest in time practice in Group 2. But it was Tom Guillaume for Team VRT KTM who was fastest with a time 152.8 compared to the 53.3 of Guadagnini. And it is Guillaume that will go to the line first ahead of the Italian. Florio Mio will go to the line third ahead of Oriol uh, Oliver. Uh, Joel Rizzi of RFX KTM, powered by PAR Home will go to the line in fifth, so a uh, much better start to the season for the Welshman compared to last year. It's just under 1,900 metres long, apparently, the track this weekend. Uh, it's turning a little bit chilly. We have been bathed in glorious sunshine so far today. 18 degrees when the first race went uh, earlier today, around uh, 1 o'clock with the women. And... Uh, well, it is dropping ever so slightly, but the guys have been out on their sighting lap. As you can see, the backdrops of the skybox are down, and the riders already making their way to the start line for the first race of the MX125. 25 minutes plus two, so it'll be close to 30 minutes because uh, lap times are around about 152, 53. That'll probably change towards the end of the race. Guyon, and then uh, Guadagnini, there's Mio, the 312 there of Oriol Oliver. And uh, Joel Rizzi going through there for RFX KTM, powered by PAR Hopes. Uh, and then the rest, Kjarva Bruggen, Kader Wolf, the number 14, the 516 there of Simon Lagenfelder for WZ Racing KTM. And uh, our uh, fly racing boards are in position, getting ready for the first race of the year for EMX 125. A freshly groomed start straight awaits the uh, riders in, and here's how the riders do go to the line. It was Tom Guyon in Group 1 with the fastest time over Mattia Guadagnini, then Florio Mio, Oriol Oliver, Joel Ritzi, Kjelva Bruggen, Caleb Wolf, and Jorgen Matthias Talviku, your top eight. Ninth for Simon Lagenfelder and Mike Guerda goes to the line tenth. Head of Max Paulson, Eddie J. Wade, uh, Andrea Bonacorsi, Alessandro Facca, Rasmus Pedersen, and Guillaume Perez Plaza. Sam Nunn goes to line 17th, head of David Barakas, uh, Bracares Martinez and Kevin Brumman. Samuel Nilsson is next, 20, so uh, he'll probably be around about the halfway stage on the grid, around about middle. Riders who uh, just missed the cut but will be reserves a little later on, uh, the 717 of uh, Jean Wagenknecht in uh, Group 1 and in Group 2, Nikita Kucherov of Russia. That was the 27 of Tom Guyon, and there is the 101 of Mattia Guadagnini, the Matty Racing Husqvarna rider. Thought he would have moved up to EMX 250 this year, but he said, no, nope, boss wanted to keep me down in 125. They've already got Alberto Ferrato in uh, EMX 250. There is Florian Mio, Yamaha Europe, EMX 125 MJC. Floro Mio last year finished third overall in his home round in France. The 17th in the championship, though. René Hoffman has also done so too. Uh, Ribo Dankers. So the guys who finished second and fifth in the championship last year are pretty much the guys to keep an eye on, although there are more than enough riders out there capable of challenging for top honours. 72, Liam Evans might be one of them. Where was he in uh, his group? Uh, 18th in uh, time practice in Group 2. And what will be his first full season on the 125. So uh, maybe a little early, but who knows. The fly race in 15 second board does get hoisted up into the air. Daminator Carly there filming the start from the left-hand side of the gate as these riders prepare to drop the gate here. EMX 125 race one, 25 minutes plus two is away here. A slight advantage on the inside because of the way that the gates point towards the first turn. Guadagnini with a flyer through that first turn there. Oh, and a man down, and he goes down hard as well. 
gets flung from his motorcycle. And uh, another rider or two or three riders going down in the background there. Wade Yellow's all over the place in the first few corners. There's Rizzi in second position on the RFX KTM. So uh, Guadagnini leads the way. Joel Rizzi in second place. Caden Wolf just uh, a couple of positions further back on that white Husqvarna. But who is it that has got in there? Tom Guillon, the 27th, is in third. So your, uh, your pole sitter there. Caden Wolf in fourth on the white Husqvarna coming up the inside here for Rockstar Energy. Husqvarna, factory racing, and a challenge for the lead. There you are. Joel Rizzi just needs to uh, bide his time here. Get the first lap out of the way. Get settled. Don't make any rash decisions. Cater Wolf has just been passed, though. Get a number check on that any moment now. As they come up, the guy, uh, the light blue. So you've got Guadagnini going through there, then Rizzi, then... Uh... So the... 261 Talviku it is he's made a rapid start then on this opening lap because he was around about ninth or tenth as he hit the first split he's going to come over the line any moment now in around fourth place yeah there he is just there fifth is going to be uh Oliver I think or maybe even uh Kata Wolf right there in sixth place so uh, over the first lap then and we hit the monster energy finish line, and it is Mattia Guadagnini who leads the way. Joel Rizzi is there in second. Tom Goy on third. It is Talvico in the light blue that is in fourth place. Then Oriol Oliver is fifth. Kader Wolf just behind in, in uh, sixth place. Max Olsen is seventh. P.L. Verbruggen is eighth. Mike Werder nine. And uh, Sandro Facker is in tenth place. Behind them, Alberto Barcella. And then uh, David Racarez Martinez. Adam Kovac is next. Everybody up after the uh, the pranks on that opening lap through the first few corners. But you see how fast the racetrack is at the moment here in Valkenswaard, the Netherlands. In the south of the country. Close to the uh, Belgian border. But it still doesn't make the uh, circuit any easier. Still deep and low in places because of the rain that we had the last few weeks. A little bit heavy up here, although now it is starting to dry out. So uh, just wondering whether the circuit guys will rip the uh, track and dump a load of water on it, just give it that more traditional heavy feel, not due any rain. So uh, might see a slightly different racetrack tomorrow. Let's get these races out of the way. We've got the MX2 and MXGP qualifying races coming up, the final two races of the day here on Saturday at Valkenswaard, live as always on MXGPTV.com. But... Guadagnini just starting to establish himself here. He was about three quarters of a second ahead of the 9-12 there for RFX KTM of Joel Ritzy, but Ritzy coming under attack from the 27 of Tom Guyon. So Guyon on the VRT KTM, not really letting the Welshman out of his sights. In fact, it's all over him as they go from one side of the track to the other, and he uh, sweeps around the outside of the 9-12, who has to back out of that double as well. But uh, Oriol Olivier... Oliver, sorry, in fifth place in the red and yellow. Riding the 312 for RFME Junior Team. So uh, the rider from Spain. Sam Nielsen is uh, also another rider in that uh, particular setup as well. So let's give you a rundown then. The uh, first 20 guys as they've hit the line first time around. Guadagnini is your race leader. Tom Goyan now in second. Ritzy third. This guy here in the red and yellow from Spain. Oriel Oliver is in fourth. Jürgen Matthias Talvico here now in blue. He is in fifth place. Kader Wolf is sixth. Kiel Verbruggen seventh. Max Paulson eight. Nine is Alessandro Facca. And ten is Mike Guerda. Eleven is Adam Kovacs. Twelve, Alberto Barcella. Thirteen, David Bracares Martinez. 14 is uh, Maxim Krajev. Slight bubble there for Talviku, and that's enough to let the 14 of Kader Wolf through on his Husky just there. Liam Everts in 15, Dave Koika 16, Eddie J. Wade 17, Kay Karsmarkers, Marnie Appelt, and Andrea Bonacorsi, your top 20 as they hit the line first time around.
Cater Wolf coming towards us. Looks like he's a little more settled now after that first lap on that Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Through those waves, looked like you could double-double uh, early on there, but obviously they're starting to wear down, makes that section just a little more difficult. The key is to get over the double in the middle with the higher takeoff. Breaking bump starting to appear, they fix the takeoff on this jump, so guys able to get over that, but uh, over the scrub jump, no more dragon backs. Two laps complete, no changes. So Guadagnini now almost three seconds clear of Tom Guillaume, but the 14 of Kader Wolf is uh, in fourth, Talvico fifth, and this guy here, Kel Verbruggen. 2.42 on the No Fear Jumbo BT Racing Team Husqvarna. Looking uh, pretty interested at the moment. Third overall, the final round in Aston last year. Dennis, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Kjell Verbruggen. And that was good enough for uh, 16th in the championship. Got the first race as well that day. But a six in race two. So no surprise to the top of the leaderboard, no surprise to the podium either. There he is. Kelvin Bruggen of the Netherlands. Jurgen Matthias Talviku though. Riding 261 this season for A1M Husqvarna. Got his hands full just here, coming towards us, the light blue and the guy behind him in white. Behind them, Max Paulsen. So, Max Paulsen from Sweden, inside the top ten in eighth place, ahead of Alessandro Facca and Mike Guerda. Ritzi, there in third. Still doing a great job of hanging off, uh, holding off the 312 of Oriol Oliver. Over the line for the third time. Fastest man on track, 155.224. Your race leader, Mattia Guadagnini. Three and a half seconds clear now of Tom Goyon. Here he is. Looking very good. Missed the first two rounds. Broke his collarbone here, actually, last year. So he uh, didn't pick up any points, didn't ride in Italy. So he missed the first two rounds and still finished second in the championship. 25 down on uh, Thibaut Benestomp, the uh, Yamaha Europe MJC 125 rider last year. Oh, back in, just gets a little kick there off the back of that RFX KTM. Powered by PAR Homes. Watch this. Everything looked good and then, boom, just a little reminder just to keep that front end high, Joel. Here's Tom Guillaume, still in that uh, second place. Number 27, the Frenchman. Ritzy, and then Oriol Olivier, just here, RFME, the next junior team, in fourth place. Looking very good, actually. The 26 last year, didn't do... Missed three rounds. Well, missed the first two and then didn't qualify in France. Got a 14th overall in Germany. So he keeps this up. The Spaniard here will be looking uh, quite possibly at a first ever podium and a, and a top 10 finish as well. There's Liam Evans. Dropped a couple of positions early on. He's now down in 18th place in his first year in EMX 125 championship action. Matia Guadagnini, though. Team Matty Racing Husqvarna. Leading the way. 4.2 now. The MX125 Championship. Powered by FMF Racing. 15 minutes to go. Plus two.
Taking a look a little bit further down the leaderboard. As we come into view here. And up on the pegs. Best way to get around this racetrack. The 696, Mike Guerra. Who's he chasing down? Alessandro Facca. So those two fighting over ninth place. They'll pop into view any moment now. As we pick up the 242 of Kelva Bruggen in seventh place. Nice tidy style, isn't he? Elbows up for the No Fear Jumbo BT Racing Team. Ryder looking more than comfortable around this uh, track. Having said that, just had a slight bobble in the corner. Ritzy here, 9 12, still doing a good job of keeping these guys at bay, starting with the 312 of Oriel Oliver. No doubt these guys have been living the dream in Holland and Belgium over the winter. Getting their sand skills up to uh, scratch, with this being the first round, of course. Five laps complete. Just over 13 minutes plus two laps to go. There is Kader Wolf on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Bike looks nice and settled. Choosing to go around that single on the inside there. Most of the guys looking to go around that. Just trying to keep the momentum high, the, the tempo high as well. Guadagnini leads, going in second, Rizzi third, Oliver fourth. That's him here in the red and yellow. Kato Wolf just behind him in fifth, about five seconds further back at the top of the hill in the light blue. Jürgen Matthias Talviku. And then Kelva Bruggen, Max Paulson, Alessandro Facker, Mike Guerda, Adam Kovacs. Up to 12th, Martinez, uh, Brekes Martinez. And then Alberto Barcella. Florian Rio is in 13th, uh, 14th place. And then we've got Maxim Krajev, Mining Apeltz, Andrea Bonacorti, Liam Evans, Kay Karsmakers, and William Marlin. 4.30 from Finland on the KTM Motorsport Finland entry, actually. Rasmus Pedersen just outside of the points in 21st. Then we've got Sam Nard, Ryder down. And it... Oh, and I tell you what, he gets clipped again. Was that Guillaume? It was. So Guillaume, out of second position, gets clipped on the way through. He'll pick himself up, but that'll be... Uh, watch this here. Oriol Oliver just tried to avoid Tom Guyon, but Guyon getting tagged again on the way on the way up and goes down again. Whoa! Over the scrub jump, man down. Eats his front wheel in the process. Hopefully he's all right, but uh, not sure who that was. It might have been was it Varchella, maybe or. or uh, Somebody else. Anyway, Guadagnini leads. 13 seconds now he has over Ritzy, and Ritzy heading up this battle here. Three-way battle for second. Ritzy from Wales in second place. Third is the Spaniard, uh, Oriol Oliver. Fourth is the Dutchman, Kato Wolf, just here, number 14. These teenagers ripping around the circuit, just under two minutes. And then we've got Talviku in fifth, Verbrugge in sixth, Guyon in seventh. Kader Wolf loses out, heading up the hill. His front end just tried to climb the bank. Didn't fancy hitting the takeoff, and that's thrown him right into the uh, wheel tracks of uh, Talviku. Giving himself a little bit of work to do and putting himself under unnecessary pressure. Estonian closing in and another bobble there. He just needs to keep a cool head. See him just tightening up here at the moment. He knows there's a threat behind him, doesn't want to give up another position. Might just need to 
settle down for the next half a lap or so, just to pick up his pace again. He's got his radar on. He's trying to second guess where Talviku is at every step of the way here. Gets through the wave section nicely, though. Just looking down the uh, the leaderboard, 37th place, Camden McClellan. Who's your uh, European Championship uh, winner last year? South African. So, uh, must have gone down. There was a few guys went down through the first couple of corners on the opening lap. So I wonder if he was one of them. No such dramas, though, for this guy here, Mattia Guadagnini. Rizzi, though. He cannot afford a mistake. Nine minutes plus two to go. Is he going to hang on to second? Is he going to get dumped to third or fourth in the latter stages of this race? Well, he'll be doing all he can to try and stay there. Of course he will, but Oliver here, not going to make it easy for him. So second and third, the 9-12 of Rizzi and Oriol Oliver just behind the 3-12. Just a couple of hills here in Valkenswaard. But the circuit physically demanding in many other aspects. The deep sand, a mistake there from Rizzi as he tries to focus on a line at the top of the hill there. That's a wave a leg just to maintain a little bit of balance. That corner there actually, so off cambered, even when you even when the, the berm starts to build up because the bumps start to fall away. Not the easiest corner on the track, but. You can see it there in the background, just how uh, it does slope away on the descent. But here's the mistake from Joel Ritzy a moment ago. Just gets uh, a little bit of whiskey on the go. Just goes to show. Drinking, not good for teenagers. Oriel Oliver still there. A smoother line coming into this bottom corner. I tell you what, if he's uh, in the in contention, going into the final lap, final turn, he might force a move down there if uh, Ritz is not careful. Eight laps complete. Oh, slight mistake. Let's Ritzy off the hook ever so slightly. Guadagnini away with this one at the moment, almost 18 seconds clear of these two here. Looking keen, isn't it? Rizzi. Slight gap. Oh, gets a bit of a kick there. Heard the, uh, the body language from the machine. A couple of riders giving chase down here, the 27 of Tom Guyon. Still being attacked here by Max Paulson. <laughs> well, it might have been the 29, yeah, Facker and Guerra, sorry. So Facker. In ninth place, Mike Guerra in tenth position. Hello, Mum. Round the outside, Mike Guerra runs out of real estate, has to turn it deeply back across the track just to try and set himself up here. It's a nice smooth run up on the outside. Always a difficult part of the racetrack there, especially when it's heavy as well. So Guadagnini now. Leading the way massively, almost 20 seconds clear. Rizzi second, and he's already over the line actually. Nine laps in the bag. Back onto the start straight for your race leader then, the Maddie Racing Husqvarna rider. Hair somewhat longer than that actually this weekend, so it must have been taken just after his New Year's party. Oh, bit of a sideways swap there from. Oliver and Kata Wolf right back in the thick of things as well. He made that mistake. He's got onto the rear wheel of the Spaniard and he's still bringing the Estonian with him of Talviku. So it's just starting to heat up here actually. Britsy just far enough out of it not to be uh, 
bothered by it, but you can see the three guys ganging up. Watch this here, just catching the bank. Four and a half to go. Rizzi needs to just maybe up his game a little bit because these three are going to close in. Talviku might be the big game here. Because he's being pulled along by the 14 of Kay DeWolf. And before DeWolf made that mistake, he was happy just to sit back there in around about fifth place. But DeWolf has definitely brought him some company. Yeah, and, and just as uh, just as we predicted, that battle now becoming four riders fighting over second position. So four minutes plus two to go. All of a sudden, a little bit of uh, fireworks coming our way. I think. Don't be surprised if you see some of these riders making one or two little mistakes. Kader Wolf, he makes a big bubble through the wave section there. Manages to keep it up right though. And Ritzy again, look, going for that outside line. Whoa, there you go. There's a warning, Joel, and he doesn't get over the double. So Oliver does make the pass. Ritzy coming straight back, though. Second position just changing hands ever so slightly, but Rizzi runs it down the inside and tells the Spaniard, not going anywhere, fella. So there was a wake-up call there. He couldn't rest. He now knows he's got three minutes of pain coming his way, plus two laps. So about another, uh, what, five, seven minutes, something like that. Played right into the hands of Kader Wolf. That did, didn't it? Look, he jumped to the inside. Right on the back wheel. So this was Oriol Oliver in third. Looking down the inside of Joel Ritzy. Ritzy just realised he was there. Straightened up. The pass had been made briefly. But Ritzy did manage to hang on, though. And he's still here in second. Oh, where do you place your bets? Kader Wolf getting ready to light it up as well. Look, he goes tight to the inside on his Husqvarna, but he's got close company with Talviku in the light blue on his A1M Husqvarna. He could be in danger of losing his, uh, where is he, fourth place on the number 14. Doesn't get good drive out of there. They'll be side by side as they hit the jump at the end of the straight here, but Kader Wolf managing just to keep ahead of Talviku. Holes and edges and all sorts. Just waiting to play their part in this outcome. Yeah, he goes tight, once bitten, twice shy. Ritzy not going to make the same mistake twice. Scrubs his way over the, uh, the little the camel back there. All of a sudden. Fight for second position. Very much a four-horse race. Guadagnini, 20 seconds clear. Right. Kayla Wolf must have made a slight mistake because he's lost the toe ever so slightly. To Oriel Oliver in the red and yellow coming towards us now. On the RFME X junior team. And Talviku goes through. Sneaky. Went around the outside and cut to the inside. All of a sudden, Talviku now in the fourth place. Frantic 1-2-5 action here at Malcolm's Ward. The opening round, the opening race of 2019 for the EMX 1-2-5 European Championship. Powered by FMF Racing. Is he the dark horse? Talviku. He's picked off the uh, number 14 of Kader Wolf. Is he about to do the same to the two riders ahead of him? Is he looking at a potential second place finish here, Talviku? 
Uh, this was uh, a couple of laps ago. Kader Wolf decided to go uh, climb in the bank there. Look at the gap back to Talviku before he got back on the rear wheel. And that was a costly mistake in the end. It took a couple of laps for Talviku to get warmed up, but he's found his way through into fourth place now. Right, Kader Wolf in fifth. He goes long. Talviku makes a slight mistake. Two to go, though, for Mattia Guadagnini. The Maddie Racing Husqvarna rider here, 101. About 18 and a half seconds clear now. He's starting to back it off. Five thirty-two. Mirko Valsecchi. He's a lap down, out of the points. There's Rizzi though, 9.12, just passing through. There's Oriel Oliver. So second, third, still locked together. Talviku in blue, looking to join the party any moment now. Has he timed his run to perfection? Slight bobble at the end of the straight, at the end of the hill, sorry. For Talviku. And he's alongside the Spaniard, and I think he, oh, he has. He's just picked him off the tree. Moves up into third. So Yoga Matias Talviku on the A1M Husfana, the middle rider in shot there, goes around the back marker. He's now in third. Watch this. Good drive up the hill. A slight mistake as well for Oliver. Good move. Getting ready to take the one lap board. And second is up for uh, grabs again. Nice inside move there. Orchestrated because of the back markers ahead of him, Talviku. Here's Guadagnini going into the final lap. On four races last year, did Guadagnini. Can Ritzi hang on for second? He's over the line now, he's into his final lap, but not a lot in it between him and Jorga Matthias Talviku in blue. Back marker could play his part here, and he does so. Ever so briefly. So the 223 of Andrea Bonacorsi for uh, Celestini Racing KTM. Moves out of the way. All eyes on this battle for second, though. Joel Rizzi, RFX KTM, powered by PAR Homes. <laughs> then you're going to Matthias Talvico and the guy there in red and yellow. And Oriel Oliver, he's in fourth place. Kater Wolf, still there in fifth. Bold move. And Talvico charges down the inside of Rizzi. Rizzi will respond here at the end of the next straight. He was clean over the hill, but he's uh, made a mistake there on the exit of the turn. Wow. Dark horse indeed, Jorgen Matthias Talviku. Didn't see that coming about half distance in the race. So from, uh, where was he about? Sixth place, sixth, fifth position. Up into third, into second. Found his way past Ritzi and Oriol Oliver and Kader Wolf. So he was in sixth place, actually. But anyway, final turn. The 101, Mattia Guadagnini on the Maddie Race in Husqvarna. Takes a checkered flag here. He had a 20-second advantage going into the final lap. A nice little heel clicker for the Italian. But uh, Talviku, ride of the race for me. Coming from mid-pack. Getting himself into contention, and he hits the checkered flag to take second here. Just from Joel Rizzi. Rizzi picks up his first ever podium race finish. Top three finish. Ah, same for uh, Talvico, actually, in uh, 125 European Championship action. And then uh, Oriol Oliver, Kader Wolf, Kelvin Bruggen, Tom Guyon, eventually coming home in seventh place. Max Paulson on the line now in eighth.
And then it should be Mike Guerta coming home ninth. And I think Florian Mio has found his way past Alessandro Facca on the final lap. So uh, we'll give you an official confirmation in a moment. But any moment now, I think Lisa is down there getting ready to speak to our race one winner, Mattia Guadagnini. See what he has to say. Yeah, Guadagnini, congratulations. First race win of the year. Perfect start to your 2019 campaign. Yeah, I take the oil shot and then lead all the race, all the laps to the race. Uh, first race, I, could, I just uh, saw some lights and then uh, control the race. We, I have 20 seconds uh, from the second, so that's good. See you tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Mattia Guadagnini then gets off to a flying start. The perfect start here. Race one of the new season in EMX 125 European Championship action, powered by FMF Racing. The Maddie Racing Hurts final rider pulled a whole shot, led every single lap. He wins by an eventual 18 and a half seconds. Looks nice and relaxed as well. Will he do it again tomorrow? Well, we'll be live with the action as always. You can wait and join us for that, if you will. Right, one or two little. Uh, Improvements being made. Here is the official confirmation. Guadagnini, your eventual winner. Talviku, second. Ritzi, third. Oriol Oliver, four. Kato Wolf, Kiel Verbruggen, Tom Goyant, Max Paulson, Mike Guerda, and Florian Mio. Alessandro Facca, Adam Kovacs, Maxim Krajev, uh, David Brakulis Martinez in 14th. Monique Appelt, Simon Lagenfelder, Liam Everett, 17. K. Karsmark is 18. Alberto Barcella and Rasmus Pedersen, your top 20. Calm before the storm, of course, MX2 qualifying coming up next on MXGP TV. How about some highlights? The gate dropped for the first EMX 125 European Championship race, and there were riders uh, being tossed down the track all over the place. Coming out of the turn here, somebody went down. There, look, and got hit. Picked himself up eventually, but uh, more carnage through this next sweeping right-hander as uh, riders got thrown down the bank. But it was Mattia Guadagnini who led for the very first lap. Joel Rizzi was in second position, Tom Goyan all over him in third. And just behind him, actually, uh, Jorgen Matthias Talviku, but he got dropped early on in the race. Rizzi got passed for second by Tom Guyon. And then Kader Wolf found his way past Talviku as he made his charge towards the front. Rizzi was happy sitting there in third, but the 312 of Oriol Oliver was starting to close it in fourth place as Liam Evans was around about 17th at that stage of the race. He eventually finished in uh, 17th, actually. Man down, it was Tom Goyan. He picked himself up and he was back on his ear again as Oliver came side and through into uh, third. Cater Wolf then made a mistake and that put him right into the wheel tracks of Jorgen Matthias Talviku, a get-off moment, or a let-off moment, I should say, for Oriol Oliver there, as he challenged Rissi for second, but suddenly it was a four-way scrap for the second spot in the race. Rizzi found his way back past Oriol Oliver, who briefly made his move at the uh, start of the straight, and he got there in a second, but with moments to go in the race, Talviku found his way past Kada Wolf. That put him up into uh, fourth. He then went after Oriol Oliver, passed him, and then Ritzi in one foul swoop, pretty much. He came home in second, but it was a win for Mattia Guadagnini in race one. Right, we'll check out some best moments, and when we return, we will do so with MX2 qualifying. We'll see in a few moments.